a fine feature of the Guru platform is that it allows you to enroll students uh, into your OER textbook. Uh, that way you can see how they are progressing against the various assessments and even track them as they're working through the various collections. Uh, to do this, you need to go to the top right hand corner and just to the left of your login name, you'll see it says my classes. You need to click on there. On this particular page, you can see uh, which classes you're a member of. Uh, and if you scroll down, you can even see uh, which classes you teach. So in this case, I want to now create a new class for my new OER textbook. It's going to say, what is the name of the class? And in this case, I'm going to call it Maths OER Textbook. I can say um, which particular group it is. In my case, I want all of middle school. And you see where it says visibility, you've got two options. Uh, you can either say, I would like a link and or a code, which I will furnish to the various people um, who I'd like to come into the classroom. Or you could say, no, I have a very clear idea about who is supposed to be in. Only students who you invite are uh, allowed access to the classroom. Uh, in my case, I've got people all around the world. I'm never quite sure who's in and who's out. So I'm going to go with that first one. I want the class to have a link and or a code. I'll click add. And then it's going to say to me, well, what is the name? Um, sorry, what is the course that is going to be aligned with this particular class? So if you look carefully on the left, you can see it says select course. And in this case, uh, I'm going to go and find the one that we've been building in the previous um, videos. There it is. It's the OER Maths textbook and I can say select. And it's just reminding me you will no longer be able to delete questions or assessments once you have um, inserted it into a class. This is to make sure that um, things don't change while people are trying to take the course. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say assign. The rest of the page explains to you how um, you can uh, pace and track what the students are doing. So, for example, if you want, you can um, set a minimum required score for all assessments in the class. It can be 10 percent, 50 percent, 100 percent, according to uh, what you find of interest. I'm going to make mine 50 and save. And then it explains to you the code that it's going to use in order to track the students. So if they have a green cup, it means they've met the, um, uh, the criteria on the various tests. Um, or if they've um, had a go but not yet uh, gained the proficiency, then they'll get a yellow dot. And you can also then see in terms of content what has been attempted and um, uh, what uh, still needs to be still needs to be done. The next trick is to see um, how students might join up. Um, so, for example, you can click on the students button, and here now you can see the class code. CFC G3HQ is the unique code for this particular class. Um, you can also see that Guru supplies you with a unique URL. So if you want, you could paste that into an email and then send it off to those people who are interested in your course. Alternatively, I still have the tools in order to invite students separately. So I could under invite students via email, insert the class email addresses uh, and then send off a machine generated invitation. 
once the students have been enrolled either by uh, using the code using the unique URL or you inserting each of the email addresses then the class begins to get a class list and you can see here uh, for example that the class list is in uh, and, but we can see also um, some of the tracking of what the students are, uh, well, at least in this case, three of the students uh, who have already commenced the course.